Hi, Chris here for Tenka Tech and welcome to the channel. And today it's the Arduino series. This is part two. So let's get started now. If you remember, last week we left off with a simple program which was called Blink. It was attached to pin 13 here and to the LED on the Arduino here. I also got in the comment a very good question that I thought I addressed and this was about the PWM TDAL sign on the digital sides and they asked me what was the difference. It's very simple. When we speak about digital, it's all either one or zero in another world on or off. If you want the in between, you have to convert this. If you want to know more, I can do a special video about it because I have to go into details into it so just let me know and I will do that for you. Basically the TDAL one or PWM is to do the in between one and zero. Alright, I hope this answers your questions. Now let's go to the next subject. Breadboards. They are very good addition and complement very well the Arduino in order for you to do either troubleshooting, create or even build your new projects. They look like so, but you have many sizes and many colors. The way they work is very simple. So here you see I uh, take a very old one and I can show you. By referring to the schematic upstairs, you will understand how it works. There is lines and those lines are separated in between rows and columns. And inside you have clips here that allow you to easily insert components and no need soldering, which is very convenient. Now that we have established that columns and rows are connected together, like here, those are the rows you can see. Those for the column here, you look at the graph and you can see that there is a separation in the middle. And these are not connected. Alright, so if you put a ship like this, they are not connected together and you will not do a short circuit. Now that you understand the principles, we are going to the next steps. Starting by connecting the Arduino, which still have the older program. You remember blinking the LED to second on to second off. This was our previous video. You can find it in the card here or in the link below. To refresh our memory, the LED connected to P13, the sketch was to turn it on for two seconds and turn it off for two seconds. And this indefinitely. At least as long as the Arduino is powered on. As you can see here, on, off, on, off. To second on to second off. Now we are going to do the wiring. I'm going to use this dark blue wire for the negative and this red one for the positive. This is kind of a standard. So to connect them you simply have to slot in the pin inside the hole that you wish to. Here we are selecting the 5 volt as you can see. Well I hope you can see. Uh, that's why I use the red wire for the positive and I'm going to hook it up to the breadboard to the 5 volt as well. Like so. Now you understand how easy it is without soldering. Now you can see it's plugged in and I'm going to use the dark blue for the negative. If you have black, you can use the black one. I plug it into the negative into the Arduino and on the breadboard into the negative rail. As simple as this. And the whole row here will be negative. Once this is done, like so, we can go now into the LEDs. I'm going to use a 3mm one, but you can use whatever you want. If you look here, on the short side, it's the cathode or the negative. And then on the bigger, the longer side, it's the anode. You notice that I circle around the top saying that it was round. This is simply because the other side, the negative side, usually it's flat. As you can see here, let me bring in the uh, close-up and uh, you will see what I'm speaking about. You can notice here that it's flat and the other side is rounded up. You can as well, to hook it up to the motherboard, move slightly the, the legs uh, by separating like so. Once you do that, it will be easier for you to hook it up inside uh, the holes into the motherboard. Now we go into the resistor. The value here is 220 ohms. It's red, red and black. Here you can see it better. So now we need to hook up the resistor into the breadboard. 
there is no polarity for resistors. I will hook it up into the negative rail. Yes, I'm still connected to the Arduino and still powered on. So I still have live light. Now with a close up, you can see where I plug it in on the negative rail there. There is no polarity for resistor. This is another thing you need to know. Unlike some other complement, the LED for example. So if you look here, the negative rail is the whole rail here, as we mentioned earlier. Here you have the whole row where the resistor is connected with the separation here, which does not connect to the other side. Moving to the top side now, you can understand better. The whole row is not connected with this row here because of the separation here. So there are two different sides. So you can connect something else, even in the same line. I hope this is well understood. It's very important. Now we are going to plug the LED in. But first, spoiler alert. I will do some mistakes. Like this, I hope you will understand. Okay. So first, how do we plug the LED in? Uh, because we have the negative and positive, as we learned before. And uh, there is two sides we can plug it in. So, how? This, remember, the short one. I will put it first in here and then in there. So, you can see that it's not the same on the Arduino, the light turn off, but not on the board. So, what did I do wrong? If you remember, to make the LED blink, we use a sketch and the sketch, it's not at all connected like so. What we do right now, we take the power from the Arduino and turn on the LED. There is no sketch to it. The sketch is on pin 13 here. That's why it does not work. So let's change the wire and see if I'm correct. We start by unplugging the negative from the Arduino, put it in the ground, and then the 5 volt or the positive and put it in pin 30 like so. Does it work now? Yes, it does! Fantastic! You see? It was as simple as that. And the LED on the Arduino still blink. So we learned that by using the code, we can turn on an LED which is not on the Arduino somewhere else. We can hook up also a motor if you want to or anything else. LCD for example, so we can basically receive and send data to it. Now that we managed to transition from the Arduino to the breadboard, we can see some more complex programs or setups. That's what we will do in the next iteration of this series. See you next week and if you like this video, you know what to do, your YouTube thing, simply press the like button like so or you can even subscribe and if you want to be notified press the bell icon however if you do not like this video simply tell me in the comment down below why you do not bye guys now and stay safe